Preludes, Where You Go, I Go, uh, takes inspiration from Gavin Bryar's piece, Sinking of the Titanic, in which the composer imagines what happened to the music the band was playing as the sound continued to reverberate in the water uh, while the ship sank. I hope to carry this poetic notion through, uh, imagining how the paint might react underwater, both physically and poetically, uh, with the preludes being eyewitness accounts before, during and after, uh, with the after forming a prelude to history, to the passing of living memory and our continuing or changing imagining of the event, uh, much like the music and paint transformed by the depths of the ocean of time. So this is, you know, I mean everybody recognises this one, it's the statue of the captain, there was a picture of the statue of the captain. The statue uh, is in my birth town of Litchfield and he had absolutely no connection to Litchfield whatsoever and that's the myth that he did. Um, and I, and that, that links into what I was saying at the start which is uh, truth is a subjective thing uh, and uh, once somebody says something and uh, somebody else believes it, it becomes truth. And that's okay because it, it perpetuates the myth of the Titanic, the story of the Titanic, and hopefully that will last forever. So this one's called Snowball Fight, and we have a first class passenger on top deck, uh, staring at the iceberg uh, whilst holding onto the railings and in the background two children um, throwing snowballs. The story goes uh, that uh, two children came on deck when the iceberg, uh, when the ship shaved along the iceberg and shavings fell onto the top deck and started playing snowballs and their mother came out and said uh, uh, it's getting cold, um, why don't you just go back in and go to sleep um, and uh, that was all. Um, lo and behold, obviously, that wasn't all, and unfortunately, they died in their sleep. <laughs>